in this video i'm going to show you how you can create a wordpress blog from scratch one you need to have zamp two we are going to download wordpress because wordpress is free now we are doing this project offline so that's why i need you to have your zamp server installed on your computer okay let's start the video right here my zamp is running on my computer and that's why i've started apache and uh my sql so you have to head to google and type in download wordpress then click on wordpress.org then after you've clicked you bring it to this website um then go ahead and download wordpress of course we are using the latest version of wordpress which is 5.9 then in this new tab i've launched my zamp because i have to test whether my project is connected with my database so my server so all you have to do is go to your uh, Google Chrome and type in localhost. And then when you type in localhost, for instance, just go and type in localhost. That's all because you're using a, a local server. So it will bring you this window. Then click on PHMI admin because you have to create a database for this project. Are we together? So once you click on that, it will bring you this window then go to new click on new to create a new database uh, i'm going to do this really fast so so i'm going to create a database called my blog okay i just call it my blog and i click on create so in this database we are not going to create any tables why because after installing wordpress tables will be created automatically now once you've downloaded your WordPress here, okay, like I've done already, when you check my downloads folder, it will come as a zipped file, and this is WordPress 5.9, so make sure that you extract this by just right-clicking, and then click on Extract All. So I've already extracted this to this very folder, and it's right here. So once I click this folder, my files are in here, you understand? So I'll just get back and, and I just copy this entire folder, okay? I copy this entire folder. And now, after copying this folder, move it to local disk C. Go to the location where you installed your ZAMP. So go to ZAMP folder, okay? And move to htdocs. Now, htdocs is where we create our projects from. So in this, I'm going to paste what I've already copied from the side to here. Because these are the files that... I just extracted out of the zipped file and they came as WordPress. So it is extracting really, really fast. But again, I remind newbies to this channel, you can subscribe and hit the bell notification button so that every time we release new content, you're notified. Remember, we release new content every single day on this channel. And the major purpose of this channel is to teach digital marketing and we cover topics, for example, search engine marketing, search engine optimization, email marketing, content marketing, etc, etc, etc. And guess what? We are talking to small business owners. You're working on a small budget, but then what? Or oh, guess what? You want to achieve results and, you know, make money, okay, in your business. So that's why we put this channel for you. Now, once this is installed, I mean, once this has copied successfully, we make sure that we rename it to the project name, and I'll call it my blog still. Why? I'll give it the same name as my database. And this is because I don't want to forget my database name. So this will help me quickly remember my database name. So this is the folder that I just renamed, and this is the latest WordPress version that we just downloaded and extracted and all that. So, after you've done that, get back here to your browser and now let us start installing WordPress. So, I'll head to a new tab and say um, localhost, okay? Then, I have to type in the name of my project folder. Now, I'll explain what takes place when this project is online, okay? But for now, we are doing this offline. So, let us start the installation process. Are we together? So, you type in localhost, forward slash, the name of 
your project folder then hit enter on your keyboard and of course it will just take a while okay so uh once you you clicked lock once you pressed your enter button okay it will bring you this page and now we have welcome to wordpress before getting started we need some information on your database now this is why we had to create a database before doing this whole process you will need to know the following items before proceeding one database name two database username three database password four database host five um the table prefix if you want to run more than one wordpress in a single database then they go ahead and say we are going to use this information to create a wp-config.php file if for any reason this automatic file creation doesn't work don't worry all this does is fill in the database information to a configuration file you may also simply open wp-config sample.php in a text editor fill in your information and save it as wp-config.php file so now let's go ahead and do the installation of wordpress so click on let's go but put in mind your database name the username the password and the like okay so we created a database called my blog okay if you remember and remember always when when you're doing this offline the username must always be root uh then the password we didn't create a password for this project however now if you put this project online let me say for example we've just uploaded these files online and we want users to access this website from whatsoever location they are then the username we we have to create a user to this database that is from the cpanel okay then again we have to create a password to the database because we have to protect our da database all right but now since this is only accessed by us the owners of this project then the username set it to root then the password leave it to empty then the local host because we have not set a password for this project then the database host is local host and table prefix is wp underscore so leave everything as it is from here the database host and table prefix but then these three have to be changed for example database name is my blog as you can see again here why am i emphasizing this if you put a wrong database name it will not work out for you and again the username if you don't put root it won't work out for you and password leave it empty because we didn't set any password so after you've cross-checked everything and it's okay then let's go ahead and submit okay and now they say all all right sparky you've made it through this part of the installation wordpress can now communicate with your database if you are ready time now okay then say run the installation okay so hello we are now here and guess what we are almost done with the entire process and now they say welcome to the famous five minute wordpress installation process just fill in the information below and you'll be on your way to using the most extendable and powerful personal publishing platform in the whole world information needed provide the following information don't worry you can always change these settings later okay so don't worry now here for example your site title you put the title of your website but again i'll put most of my blog okay then my username i'll just say my blog again okay then i'll use this as my password so instead of using this strong password i'll use my blog of course it is very weak then i'll just cross check this and say confirm the usage of my weak password then my email i put my email address here okay um i'll do this really fast so 
And now here we have searching invisibility and I say discourage search engines from indexing this site. It is up to search engines to honor this request. So don't tamper with this because we, all we want is Google to find our website or to index our site when we've put it online. So go ahead and hit install WordPress. Okay, now the installation process is going on here and it will take a few seconds to install WordPress. Press. Okay, if you are new to this channel, subscribe and again hit the bell notification button so that every time we release new content, you're notified. By you subscribing to this channel, you'll be supporting our work. Okay, because once you subscribe, then here we are motivated to release new content every single day. Also, you can comment, like, so that you can notify YouTube how important this video is to other people or to you as well so uh the installation is going on and boom we are done okay so i'll save my password already so i'll just say save password and of course they are telling me that we are successful so wordpress has been installed thank you and enjoy so my blog username no, my blog is my username then password of course i chose the same thing because i don't want to forget but again, make sure that you set strong passwords because people might hack into your projects. But this is for study purposes. So I say login here, click on login. And boom, now we are done. So you can see since I saved my password, you can see it is the same thing. So I can see if some of you remember me. So at every time I just come and log into my project. So I just have to say login now. And we shall be taken to the WordPress dashboard. And you can see, boom, welcome to WordPress 5.9. This is really, really amazing. Congratulations. If you've reached this step, congratulations to you. And again, let us see how our blog looks like. Okay. And successfully, we've created our blog. Okay. So once you've reached this step, you can just get these files and take it or take them to your hosting provider and you host your website all right so to see your blog hover on this link then say i'll just right click and open the site in a new tab okay got it in a new tab and you can see my project has already launched and guess what this is our blog and when you move to, the, of course, it is not the best blog interface that you would like to have in this world, but so far we are good to go. I'm going to show you how you can have, or how you can have a beautiful blog in a couple of clicks. A few clicks here and then you're done. But for now, this is our blog. And you can see this is our very first post on this blog. Okay, if this project was offline, we would have something like, instead of localhost my blog, we would have like myblog.com, okay, depending on the domain name that you've chosen. So this is our blog post, and you know, it's called Hello World. So when you click on Hello World, and it shows it has been published on 26th, of course, 2022, because today is 26th. So, how, this is so amazing, so you People can comment, I can post a comment, and I, people, you, like, you can reply to your users. So, let's get back to the dashboard and see a few things here. Now, this is the latest version of WordPress, and it has just been released a few hours ago. And uh, this is the dashboard. So, with this, we can create posts, okay? We can create posts here, add new posts. We can create categories. We can create tags. We can check out the media and upload images on this website. We can see comments. And now, under appearance, um, we have themes, okay? We have themes here. Under appearance, we have themes. So in case we wanted to install a new theme on this platform, for instance, I always use this theme for so i always use newsmark for my blogs and now when we check it out let's have a look at this theme it's a very nice theme and you head to a theme forest here okay 
So we head to theme forest. We head to theme forest, and you can see it costs uh, forty nine dollars. That is uh, the cost of the theme. Um, so you can pretty get it. Uh, for example, you can go and preview. Let's see some of the interfaces of this theme and see whether they can suit our blogs, okay? And uh, surely you can buy it here and support these people because really I'm talking with authority. The theme is really nice. It can help you set up your blog really, really fast as it has got a couple of demos so when you go to view demos okay there are very many here i normally use this one the news magazine demo so when you go to view demo okay uh you can see and i'm going to show you how to install this demo really fast okay so this is the theme that i'm going to set up on our new created website though it's offline so you can see this this is the demo and your blog will look like this are we together your blog will look like this is there a better interface than this um well if it's there well and good but i prefer this interface it's really nice and as usual you can go ahead and buy this theme i don't know if you have read about it and i'll just show you whatever theme that you're having but i'll just demonstrate how we can successfully set up a blog post i mean set up a blog using this theme very very fast so what i will do is i'll get back here already of course we've set up our blog and you can put a logo if you have a logo uh, i always use canva to create my logos so you can go to canva create an account and create some good designs for your website so you can go to canva and create a logo for your website and again if you are to publish our first post we can always do that very fast even before we install the theme so all you have to do go to your dashboard and then head to posts then you say add new post okay and i'll just add a demo post I'll just because i'm just using this to demonstrate i'll go to I'll just find a post and use that to demonstrate are we together so for instance I can go to this website and see how to how to how to unblock a domain okay how to unblock a domain from Facebook, uh, there is an article I wrote here earlier, and I demonstrated it in the previous video. So, I'll turn block a domain from Facebook. So, here is my article. So, let me copy this article and use this for this video. Um, so, but of course, I'm not encouraging plagiarism. Make sure that you write your articles from scratch, okay uh so what i'm gonna do is i'm just going to copy some text from here okay maybe I'm just copy this ctrl c to copy and then get back here to this tab where we're working from and see how we can create our first post very fast now i've connected the internet and again localhost so you can see internet is disturbing or is interfering with my local so here in this block of course i'll just paste in what i've copied already then i'll just put in the title right here and i'll copy the same title so i'll get back here and copy this same title okay i will highlight Ctrl C on my keyboard to copy and get back here and I paste in that title. Okay. Ah, oh my god. 
that's not my title. I have to get back and copy the right title. So, okay, so I'm supposed to click only the title, not the other text. So, highlight here, then I put the title. So, this is the title of my blog post, as you can see. How to unblock your domain from Facebook. And now, since I've not yet installed Yoast on this website, I cannot be able to optimize this blog post. And since I also don't have other links, I can't be able to put in internal links in this blog post. Then, however, I can put an outbound link. I can link to Facebook. So I can make Facebook my outbound link. But if I do that, I just have to add a featured image to this blog post. So... I come here and select an image from my computer. Anyway, for the purpose of this video, I'll just select any image, a random image from my gallery. I'm also, let me go to downloads. And let me take this image of digital marketing. Maybe we can use this for demonstration purposes. All right. So... Once this image pops up, then of course you give it the alt attribute. But make sure you have to put the keyword within the alt attribute. That's now for ranking purposes. So once you've done that, click on set featured image. And again, you can also select a category. But for now, I don't have any categories created. Okay. I've not yet created any categories. Um... But you can now create a category very fast from here. So just go add a category. Maybe we'll call this um, digital marketing. Then I just scroll down a little bit and say add category. So after I've added that category, I make sure I just select that category and then publish my post. So I'll get back up here and click on publish and again I publish this post so once the post is published you see the post is live and now you can click on it or you can click on this link and and boom it will take you to the view tab of that post and I think you can see we have the post title up here okay and we have the featured image then we have the post content right here. Okay. So our users can be able to comment on this post. And then we, as the administrators can be able to reply to these guys. And you can see we have the post date. The author, of course, by default now is taking my blog as the author and the category of this post. So I hope you've learned something how you can create a blog really fast using WordPress version 5.9 and really this is how you can create a blog now after you've set up this I'm just going to show you can install a very very beautiful theme and that is Newsmag uh, but for purposes of this video I'm done creating a blog as simple as this it has taken us a few minutes and boom you can start optimizing this and then after some time if you have some kamane or some small money, you can go and host your website with any hosting provider and they won't charge you that much. So then you can start blogging online. But as of now, we've just created a blog on our very machines. Now, if you want to go and host, make sure that you just export your database. And after you've exported your database, then zip up the files and take them to any hosting provider near you. Okay. So... Thank you for watching this video. I won't be able to install the theme because if I do install the theme, then that means the video is going to be lengthy. But again, in my next video, I will show how you can install the theme and also customize that theme that you've installed. So thank you for watching this video. If you've learned something, you can subscribe, you can like and leave a comment in the comment section below. I sign out. See you in the next video.